Uh, let's talk about your, your, your career these days. I was doing the research about you. There was a, a quote that was attributed to you where you had said, I don't want to try and still be Warren Beatty or whoever. A lot of guys think they can be leading men forever, and believe me, we all can't be. You had said that. That's such a, an intense realization about yourself li living as an actor in Hollywood. Well, uh, you know, look, I, I did a series in the, in the 60s, the, the Big Valley, Western, mm -hmm. and then in the 70s was Six Mill, 80s was Fall Guy, and, and I've done about seven total. But there comes a point in life where you really want to pick and choose some nice, fun roles, uh, mm -hmm. more character uh, pieces, you know, mm -hmm. something that uh, you haven't done before. Because if you do a series for six years, Mm -hmm. You're doing the same character every day. It's not, it's not exciting really to come to work that much. And they, they stop you sometimes from taking uh, chances on big roles. You're, you're, I mean, one of the Well, things, yeah, I, I, the Joe my Bach, film, Midnight total, Cowboy. Total, well, that's true. I, I, I was doing The Big Valley, and uh, uh, the ABC had canceled the, uh, the show after four years or whatever it was. And, and uh, uh, so I was in negotiations with the uh, producers and the director of uh, doing this role with my agent and everything, and then uh, ABC decided to pick it up for another year. So, uh, I couldn't do the role, they wouldn't let me out of the series. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, they went and they found John Boyd, and uh, it was Midnight Cowboy, and it was an Oscar-nominated film. How do you think but, your career would have changed if you had, if you had done that well, film? Well, you know, I really love John Boyd, and uh, he's had an amazing career also, but, I, I, and, but if you look at, if you put a side-by-side -side on film, how many how many hours I've spent on camera uh, compared to maybe John? Mm -hmm. Probably uh, there's no comparison because if you're if you're doing uh, an hour a week, an hour a week for uh, I'm in my fiftieth year, so I've probably been on camera a little more than him. But uh, and also being a movie actor, you only do you're lucky maybe do one film a year back then, mm -hmm. and I was doing I was if you're an actor, you want to work. Let's yep. just put it down. It makes it, that makes it easy. Mm -hmm. if, if you're an actor, you want to just keep working. So. It's so fascinating to think about that role and not to dwell on it, but it's such a different kind of movie, a different kind of project script than, <clears throat> than you're known for and than what you've done. I mean, the, the, yeah. the Six Million Dollar Man, The Fall Guy, these are family television shows, and Midnight Cowboy was, was X-rated when it first came out. That's true. That's true. That's unbelievable. But, but, uh, were, were you uncomfortable with the idea of having to no. do that, possibly no, do that at the time? If you're an actor, boy, I, I was jumping at doing the role, and uh, fortunately it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. But then uh, my, uh, my first uh, introducing role came after that, which happened to be a Western with Charlton Heston. Mm -hmm. Probably the best thing he ever did, his best performance, was in a movie called Will Penny. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that, it all equals out. I've, I've enjoyed my career. And, did you find that after doing The Six Million Dollar Man and The Fall Guy and becoming a television star, it was harder to get roles or see, was anyone seeking you for roles for stuff like Midnight Cowboy, things that were a little more edgy? Yeah, but you know, I wasn't really, uh, uh, during those times I wasn't really searching it because I gotta tell you, you, you do a series, you do, uh, uh, back then we started, we doing 40 shows a, a, a season. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. And, and, and you do that for a long time. but. But they didn't know anything about reruns at the time. You know, they thought they had to have new product. Right now, they you know let, you know in the last twenty years they know that reruns pay just as much or more than mm -hmm. the original content, new content. So you know they throw those reruns out. And some shows now, when they get picked up, even a brand new show, you're lucky that they get six six episodes mm -hmm. to try you out. And if you don't work, you're off. Mm -hmm. And even the, the better ones, the, the order numbers is only about 20. Mm -hmm. So, um, Out of the, the series that you did in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, which one would you say is your favorite? Who was your favorite character to play? Uh, I, I really enjoyed doing The Fall Guy. Really? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was more to my, my character, my, my real life. I, I, I tried to put a little more humor into it, and it was mm -hmm. a lot more fun. Uh, the only thing that I may regret in, in, in my entire career was that I, I didn't know what a stunt person was for a long time. I mean, because I did all my own stuff, you know, and, right. uh, and did probably eighty percent, ninety percent of my own. Really, stunts. you suffer? Did you suffer any major injuries doing your own stuff? Well, broken noses and stuff, and things here and there. But but uh, I see, I was an, an athlete growing up, and I played college football, and uh, I was really going to coach mm -hmm. uh, football and teach. And uh, but uh, I wish I discovered a stuntman sooner. My knees would probably be a little better now. Yeah. <laughs>